Chad Magleby with Magleby Construction. It's a company my father started in 1974. Our company has a phenomenal culture. We worked really hard to align ourselves with people who believe that we can be better together and do great things together uh, instead of as individuals. We also view all of our trade partners as partners. A lot of the contractors out in the world will call them subcontractors. We don't think there's anything sub about what they do and who they are. We believe they're every bit as important in the process as we are. The client originally called our remodel group out to remodel a home that sat on this property. We got out here and we looked at the home and we said, man, we can remodel this for you, but let me tell you, we'd be remodeling the whole thing top to bottom and you might want to just consider taking the thing down and starting new. He all of a sudden got really excited. <laughs> well, there were two lots here. Clients were actually from Provo. They're living out of state right now. She grew up in this neighborhood. Her parents live right next door. This was to be a family gathering place. Desire of the owner was to honor the traditional design on the outside, but on the inside, they wanted to clean it up a little bit and get into not really contemporary, but more that transitional feel. And it's really resonated well. Everyone that came through our Prada homes loved it. It's comfortable in the way it's designed. It's got a lot of natural light. It's got a lot of great details. The brick work on the home is fun. I can't remember last time we did a home with real brick, right? It seems like it's a dying art. This brick is actually a BYU blend. Same brick that you see all over BYU campus. And it ties back to a lot of what they care about, which is college that they both graduated from and grew up around and have multiple kids who are attending right now. In this home, all the cabinetry work was produced in our mill and designed by our cabinet designer, who I think is one of the best, not just Utah, but anywhere in the US. He's phenomenal at capturing the fine details that go into the kitchen and the bathrooms and the built-in bunk beds. We've got a boy's room and a girl's room, and they each can sleep eight. So I'm gonna have 16 rowdy kids rolling around in a three-story bunk. I've never seen one of those before, and I wouldn't want to change the sheets on the top, the third bunk, but the kids are gonna love coming to grandma's house. This home is special to me because one of the rooms of this house, we've created a memorial. Get a little personal for a second. My uh, younger brother passed away. He was a landscape photographer. We were able to take some of his artwork where individuals that walked through this home were able to experience some of what he loved, which was the great outdoors. He was one of the preeminent landscape photographers in the state of Utah. Go to markmagleby.com, you'll be able to see some of his artwork, some of what he loved. Family's important. One of my heroes in life is my dad, Paul Magleby. I've been able to spend a lot of time with my dad and I've certainly influenced by him and through him in so many different ways. I aspire to be like him in the way that he treats individuals and the way that he's willing to talk to the guy who's sweeping out the house as much as he's willing to stop and talk to the next client. I love the construction industry. I think it's the best profession in the world. What other profession could you have where you could create such amazing things, step back and say, wow, I was a part of creating a place where families can gather and create experiences that will last generations. A builder is not something we fell into. It's not something we got stuck doing. In my mind, we choose to be builders. We chose this profession because we love it. And it's gratifying, it's fulfilling. Well, it's something that impacts people's lives in very real and very meaningful ways.